Hey yo, what's up? It's Oops, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your custom scope and a custom crosshair in the Nexi client. Now, the first thing you want to do is, of course, download the Nexi client. I'll put the link to the Discord server in the description. It'll be the first link, so just join there and download it. So once you have Nexi client downloaded, you're going to want to right click it, or you're going to first make sure it's on your desktop because that'll make everything a lot easier. And once you have it on your desktop, you're going to want to right click it, go to properties. Once you're at properties, make, go to file location, open file location. And then once you're at the open file location, you should see this stuff. You don't want any of this stuff. You just want resources. Once you go to resources, go to app, files, assets. And then you're going to see a bunch of numbers. But we're looking for one file in particular. It's 2967632230. Again, that's 2967632230. Double click that. It should say one. Click one. And then you're going to have two or three files here. I can't remember. I think I may have deleted one, but it didn't matter. And then once you're in the one file of 2967632300, you're going to want to go to my Discord. And if you're not in there, make sure you're joined. You're going to want to go to bot commands, go to, and then type question mark crosshair. And once you do that, this green line should show up. And once you see the green line, you're going to want to tap on the green line, go to open original. Once you've opened original, you're going to want to, it's going to open in like a Chrome tab or a Brave tab or whatever your default browser is. And then you're going to right click that and then do save image as. And then it should say crosshair dash part dot PNG. You're just going to want to save that. And it should open up a PNG. If it doesn't, that's okay. And then close out the desk, the, the browser. And you're going to want to open a new files tab to download. And once you've done that, you're going to want to make it a window. And then move it to the side. And then make the other as your window. So we have 296-76230 on one side. And the downloads tab is the other. Then you're going to want to easily... If you have it windowed, it's so much easier to drag them. You don't have to like hold or something or whatever. It's just easier to drag like this. You're going to have downloads. You're going to go crosshairpart.png and you're just going to drag it into the thing, into the 296.76230. It should say replace this file in this destination. You're going to want to click check. And then it should load, should replace it. Then we're not done yet. You can close out your downloads tab. And you're going to want to go up here and go back to files. Or no, I'm sorry, app. Once we're back in app, you're going to want to go to gamestrip.js. And you're going to want to hit it once, not twice, but once. Because if you hit it twice, it's going to say Java error. And just hit it once and then go to open with notepad. And once you have it opened with notepad, it should show a bunch of text. And you're going to want to make it full screen because it'll be easier to see. Then you're going to want to hit Control F. Control F is to find something, and you're going to want to type in crosshair. And once you have crosshair in there, make sure it says down. It might say up, but it, if it says down, then just make sure to press down. And then click Find Next. I believe it's six times. Two, three, four, five, six. It should say this dot default crosshair size. It should say this dot something something after it, but just change it to ten. Now make sure not to delete the parentheses in the comma because that'll mess up the entire code, but you just want to change it to 10 because 10 is the ideal thing. It's it's just the size for the crosshair. So just change that to 10 and then you're going to want to go down a couple more times until you see this.crosshairentity.element. Once you find that, it should say width 10, height 10, or it, it should say width 65, height 65, but you're going to want to change it to 10 and 10. And once you've done that, right below it, there's another this that crosshair entity dot element. You're going to want to make it with 10 height 10. It should say before you change it, it should say with 70 height 70. You're going to want to change it to 10 and 10 again. And once you've done that, you're going to want to click control S so it saves the file and then just exit out, click apply, click OK, and then run Nexi client. But we're not going to do that just yet because I'm going to show you how to make your custom scope for Sniper. Okay guys, so I had some technical difficulties because the scope wasn't working originally, but I have it working now. So you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to go properties on Venge Client. You're going to want to go file location. 
then you're going to want to go to resources and you're going to want to do the same thing i have it in my discord somewhere uh 309-64398 so uh, we're going to go to app files assets and then you're going to want to go look for that number which is 309 six four three nine eight three oh nine three oh nine six four three nine eight once you find it you're gonna want to double click it go to one there should be two files right here one's gonna say scope texture png the other one's gonna say scope texture underscore backup you're gonna want to uh go to my discord go to bot commands and you're gonna want to do question mark uh, scope it's going to put this image it might not look like an image but you're going to want to tap the space under it click open original and it's actually just a blank image you're going to want to click save image as and it should be you want to name it hold on. you're going to want to name it scope underscore texture and you want to make the capital S and capital T. They have to be the same exact thing. Once you're done, you can just close all of that out. And you're going to want to do the same exact thing. Open up downloads. And then open up a separate window like that. And then just drag it in. Oh, what, what did I do? You're going to want to do the same thing. Just drag it in and replace it. You're going to want to replace the existing scope underscore texture file. Once you replace that, you're going to want to delete the scope, uh, scope underscore texture backup. Once you've done that, you're going to want to delete all the files that, you know, close out the file tabs and then click apply, click OK and run your Nexi client. OK, guys, so this is just some gameplay from a scrim between Royal and 9999 clan. And this is how the crosshair turned out. And I switched to sniper in a little bit, and this is how the scope turned out. Now, not gonna lie, I kind of popped off during these scrims. Me and Gunner are low key the best team. So I hope you guys enjoy your custom crosshair and custom scope. And if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask away because I will always be willing to answer all of your questions. Peace out.